Welcome back to the Haunted Mansion Tournament Expert Division Weekend Round. Hole number four. Here we're going to be playing a sniper bounce up shot. Similar to the back nine shot. P3 plus 35% max sniper 10 numbers. Three backspin, two left spin, no curl, no OP. You need to pull this one with a 59 flicker. Make sure you're pulling this with a slight 59. And we're setting up in the same position where we have the blue ring touching uh, both edges. Touching the bunker twice on the top at the same time. Spin set, three back, two left. Don't forget to add spins here. If if you forget to add spins, uh, you're going to roll long into the bunker. Ask me how I know. All right, spin three, three back, two left. So instead of lining it up from the top, I've been lining this one up from the left-hand side here like this. Seems to be a little easier and a little faster to line it up. So for wind angles, we got three major wind angles with some minor tweaks. So this is me lining it up. I just find it, it a little easier when you're looking down from above it uh that your finger kind of gets in the way to see both sides of the, the ring so this was a little easier to set up from the side wind angles are as such basically anything inside this little bush is neutral Crosswind to the right, tailwind to the left. Add point two to your adjustment. No change here. And two clicks under power. In the tailwind. Right? One thing that I've noticed for me in the crosswind angle over here. It requires me to pull it with slightly more 1159, right? So basically, for tailwind, for neutral, I'm pulling just kind of like a 59 flicker. And then in the crosswind angle, I'm pulling like a heavy flicker. A couple, couple more flicks to the left in the crosswind angle only, and that is for me. So... Practice it a couple of times. See what kind of pull angle you need for this one to make it work for you. And uh, it's a pretty good little kind of groove to the hole. So if you get your, if you need to change your spins, change your spins. If you need to change your pull angle, change your pull angle. But if, if you can get this one working right, you should be catching that little groove every time. So... This works with a wind four or a wind five ball. So make sure your pull angles are good. Make sure your wind angle tweaks are there. Hit perfect and hopefully you're walking away from hole number four with the hole in one. Good luck. Hope you get the drop. I'll check you out on the next one.